Okay, hello world. Um, this isn't something that I've done very much. I've done lots of times with my guitar, but I'm just gonna sit here and talk. Talk about um, something that I am doing. I'm kind of stepping into something new here because I got into this knack of like getting up on my Instagram story and like sharing what I was thinking about that day and like what I would call my wisdom <laughs> with, the, with the world um, and I was really surprised um, that people were kind of really receiving these little things throughout the day. Um, reminders to breathe, reminders to be grateful, um, just little Jane life hacks I guess I would call them. So I decided that um, for a long time I've been wanting to put together some sort of journaling challenge because journaling meditation challenge because I think that those two components no matter like what your spiritual secular existence is journaling and meditation are one of the best ways I believe to tune into yourself tune into your authentic self um, and allow the messages of truth to come through so um, I wanted to create something that I could share online with people who are my friends and family and people who maybe never met me but um, follow me for some reason and um, just see how that goes see if it, see if it helps anybody because um, I really 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 didn't like myself for a very very long time and it almost killed me. I pretty much lost the desire to stay alive, to take care of myself. I had no idea how to love myself. Um, and I was wrought with mental illness throughout most of college. And while I was in college, I was studying environmental studies, which was really, really huge. Um, it was such an amazing discipline for me. I was so inspired every day and also really overwhelmed of every day. And I've come to understand that I am quite an earth empath and I feel a lot of what is happening to the earth. And in that, humans are natural too, so I feel the human collective a lot and I've been trying to navigate that. And while I was in college and I was very sick and um, really unable to take care of myself, um, I w at the same time was completely overwhelmed that the world needed to be saved and that the, the globe was getting hotter and that we needed to stop it and that we needed to stop fossil fuels and that we needed to stop the patriarchy and that like oh my gosh this huge existential crisis is happening to the human race and like my tiny class of 200 graduates in my degree at this giant university were supposed to like save it and I feel like Caller, if you hear me, if you were in any sort of discipline like this, not even just environmental studies, but do you feel like your degree gave you this responsibility to go be a hero and save everything? Use all the tools that you learned to save everything. So I was carrying that with me while I was struggling to even care for myself and like all that was happening was like, get the degree, get the degree, get the next degree, get the JD, what are you gonna do next? How are you gonna save the world? What's the most powerful thing you can do? to save the earth and that really started to get to me and it's becoming a lot more clear to me these days what was um, a lot of the a lot of the things that were going on during that time and so um, my senior year got to a point where I needed to take a medical leave from school and it was one of the best decisions I've ever made if you need a break you should take a break like life is so much more worth it when you take a break um, and so during that time, I really got back to the basics of caring for myself, keeping myself alive. And um, I also really surrendered to my meditation practice. And that brought me into a Buddhist temple, a Tibetan Buddhist temple, where I was first given a compassion practice. And I was first asked to contemplate compassion towards myself. And I can still remember that moment so well. Um, and the memory of just simply not being able to do that. Like the circuit wasn't there for myself. 
I could think about other people I loved so much. I could think about the world that I loved that I wanted to save, but there was nothing internal happening, no self-love. And that was like, whoa, I can't even do this like beginner simple practice. This isn't working for me. And um, almost four years later, here I am, I'm still going to that temple at least once a week, sometimes three times a week, sometimes more, um, because what I have learned is that when you start to like yourself and listen to yourself and really get in touch with your 100% most authentic being, that's when humanity can really start to shift forward. So if I put my whole life into environmental activism but never knew how to feed myself or take care of myself or be kind to myself, I would probably run into dead end after dead end. And my concern is that that might happen to a lot of people because we have these amazing educations um, and, and no part of that K through 12 college on where we taught to like ourselves or love ourselves or really even listen to ourselves. So I have a calling and I feel a little bit nervous about even sharing that so blatantly the way that I am right now. But it's, I can't turn my back on it anymore and I can't run from it anymore and I can't hide under the pressure of it anymore because it's so true. And it starts right here with me telling you what I know about how to love yourself more. Because what my education really taught me is that humans have a really poor relationship with themselves. And that when you can really start to love yourself, you see that it's so infinite and so endless that you can just pass that around. And that is what's going to change the world. And that is my truth. That is what I believe. That is what I know. And I've got to figure out how to share that. So here we are. Seven minutes in. I hope you're still watching and listening. I've got a self-love challenge starting. And what it's going to look like is a daily quick video like this. Probably a lot shorter than this. Probably five, ten minutes. And what it will start with is a guided meditation that you can use at any time. I'll probably make a five minute meditation for beginners and a 10 minute meditation for people who want a little bit more of a challenge. Um, if you want to talk to me personally, privately, I would be more than happy to record you your own um, personalized meditation. Um, if you wanted to take on some sort of agreement with me in that sense. Um, but pretty much what we're going to be looking at is um, getting into a meditative space where you can feel the inner channels of your body. You can feel the energy moving through you. You can, you can actually feel head to toe what your experience is in that moment. And then you can ground yourself with the earth and really feel everything that's happening around you and internally at the same time because that is when we can really start to unlock some of the authenticities that are hidden underneath kind of all of these muddy layers that society puts on us in a way of telling us who we should be and inside there is the brightest most dazzling sparkling diamond and it's covered in that mud and when we meditate, we clear it off and we cleanse it and we can become pure, our pure selves. So we get into that space and then you've got a journal prompt. I'm going to ask you to get out your journal and write about something as much as you can for as long as you can. And in that you are wiring your cells to pick up on this language and these beliefs and these feelings and these emotions that are going to help you step into a more authentic higher self that you truly are that you truly want to be and you just need to start moving yourselves forward into that space and 
once you start to unravel into the perfection that you already are, the self-love will just come. And it will just be there. And you'll receive the messages that will guide you into what is next. What are the next steps that you need to take to continue down this journey? And hopefully through these seven days of allowing me to guide you, um, you can feel the connection that we already have as humans as we, and we already have as wayfinders for each other because you found me and I found you. And somehow through this ridiculous intergalactic universe we call the internet, we found each other and I think that's really beautiful. And if you begin this journey with me, I promise to be there for you at the end of the seven days and help you where your next steps are going to be. Because that's another part of the, the gift that I am here to share. No matter what your beliefs, fundamental, semantics, whatever, you're, you're a spiritual divine being. You're a human. And that's amazing. And you are so powerful and you have so many underlying facets of yourself that are just dying to be expressed. And I can't wait for you to find your path and walk it and discover yourself more and add light to the world because that is what we need. It has been dark, it has been scary, it has been twisted and grotesque, and I don't want to close my eyes and allow it to happen and follow the darkness. I want to be strong and be a visionary for the future where there is light and there is love and there is equanimity and there is humans loving themselves, loving each other, loving the planet and all of its creatures. And I really, really believe there is a better future coming if we can all shift forward into that. I believe this 100%. So, are you in? Do you want to be part of the, the good force? If you do, get in touch with me. I can email you and let you know the daily the, day, the daily video, the daily challenge. You can follow me on Instagram and watch. You can follow me on Facebook and watch. You can get on my web my website, deepthoughts.blogspot.com and get updates, or you can follow me here on my YouTube channel and keep up there. What you're gonna need for this channel is a journal, a pen, a place in your house where you can sit and meditate and be alone and be undisturbed. If you don't have that already, start creating it. And um, just an open heart that is ready to um, really open every cell in your being and step into your more authentic self that is just loving, 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 loving. Because when you love yourself, you'll never feel alone. You'll never believe that you need another person to survive and you will always feel safe in your skin, in your body. And as someone who never felt safe in this body, I can say that being there now is one of the greatest blessings I have ever received in this life. Being in this amazing body, taking amazing care of it, loving myself so much when I've seen the darkness, I've seen it. Let me tell you another day. I'll tell you. <laughs> and so um, I'm here to tell you how to get out of that. If you follow me, if you open up to yourself, and if you believe in yourself. We can make the light just a little bit brighter on this planet. So um, thank you for watching. I think that's all I have to say. And um, Again, just message me if you really want to be fully in on this challenge. It's going to be seven days starting today. So, thank you. Okay, sending love to the whole world.